Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. I've got some nail mail, but this time it's not a surprise. I know what's in this one, which is why I've got the swatch wheel and why I've got these two polishes here. So Jules, thank you so much. Julie G, our own Julie G, um, who's over on Instagram. I'll link um, Jules' Instagram details below. Um, but she also uh, follows me on this channel and she contacted me and said, Look, I've got this polish, I've got a couple of backups of it, I can send it to you, no problem. And I was like, we've argued backwards and forwards a little bit, but eventually she said, look, I'm just going to send it to you. So, so here is the parcel. So this got here safely from Canada. Okay, so... <laughs> I remember seeing the picture of this. So she sent me a picture of she was eating the chocolates and this is um, from Germany to Canada to UK. <laughs> okay, so we'll open those in a minute. Oh, I thought you'd eaten them, Jules. Okay, right. So there's some Werther's Originals and in French we say bisous, bisous for kisses. Oh, oh, I love these types of um, like jelly candies. Thank you so much. <laughs> and oh, here it is. That's what. Oh, yes, the re reason rising. Re um, that's the picture that she sent me. So, and here's some of them have fallen out, but I know I think she had one or two at work as well. And I think, oh, there's another one inside the package. There we go. And oh. A hand mask. Don't pet Marwin with these on. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I wonder if do you use them overnight? Oh, remove after 15 minutes and let the residue absorb into the skin. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Jules. Looking forward to trying this. That's amazing. So we've got the candy and the Werther's Original and this is what's hiding something <laughs> I can't believe this actually this is a bit of a surreal moment <laughs> grey purple neutral you decide I love these little <laughs> little stickers okay these are very well packaged very organized Oh, so this is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. So it's one of the new ones, and I've just completely messed up my thumbnail. Um, <laughs> and this is called Retrograde, and wow. This looks very much, this is going to come up in a video next actually, because this to me looks very much like Caitlin from Zoya and maybe Pedal Pushers from Essie. So we'll take a closer look at this, but I love that type of shade where you just can't decide, is it purple, is it grey, is it neutral, yeah, it's it's a bit of everything really I think but that's beautiful thank you so much retrograde and this will be featuring in, in a comparison very soon so here we go this one says a favorite from the last extreme collection available where I live far far away okay Just, I love, love, love these bottle shapes. I'm getting really quite obsessed by these Sally Hansen. I've never really been that fond of the the larger size um, bottles, you know, the complete salon manicure, but I really love these and the, the length of the brushes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is heavy metal. And the, yeah, that's gorgeous. So this is a favourite... Um, favourite of jewels from the last 
collection and this is a gorgeous pale grey but it looks like it's going to be quite opaque heavy metal beautiful shine that's gorgeous thank you and well done for managing to sneak this through in the uh there you go in the candy bag <laughs> and here we go here it is you can stop thinking about it now so now that it's here we can do some comparisons wow this is unbelievable look Jules, thank you so much. So I can stop guessing and swatch all of the comparisons together. That is a beautiful, beautiful blue. So let's have a look. That's the Sally Hansen original Pacific blue. Wow, amazing. This one is the Julie G uh, Cabana Boy. Yeah, and you can tell there is a little bit more purple. And here is Damson, and it's not the same. It's not, finally, I can ha see the colour comparison. All three of them are not the same, and they're, but they're close in different ways. This This one here is like a mixture between the two. Um, but I will do some swatching and we can come back and take a closer look at these three. Okay, so here is one coat. Can you tell the difference between them? Can you tell which one is the Julie G? The Julie G has definitely got a little bit more purple. So this one's the Julie G. And then of these two here, the Barry M. Damson is definitely a tiny shade, especially under the, the camera light, is a tiny shade brighter. That's this one. And this is Pacific Blue. If you put them together on the nail, you can't tell the difference between them. But if you look closely, definitely the Barry M is brighter and the Julie G is a little bit more of... It's like it's got a, a hint of lavender in there somewhere. And the Pacific Blue is right down the middle between both of them with maybe a little bit more... They they are they're all quite slightly dust dusty very very slightly dusty this one more than the others and this one less than the others but again it's slap bang in the middle I think you can tell the difference a bit more on the nail between the Julie G and the Pacific Blue and to me these two look more similar on the nail. But there are, are very, 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 to the, to the trained nail polish addict eye, very, very slight differences. But under normal circumstances, you would say that they were all the same shade. Very, very close. Oh, Julie, thank you so much. I've been wanting to get them all together like this for years <laughs> and thank you to, again to Debbie's sister she sent me the Julie G the Damson is available quite easily here so I still maintain that this is our version of the UK's version of Pacific Blue but yes that is the original and I thank you so 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 much Jules for sending this to me you are a star So here we are with a second coat. It was like, hold up, hold up, hang on. When I was editing, I thought, hang on, no, we need a, a second coat just in case it deepens the colour. Now, for me, this takes the Julie G out of the running because the third coat really does deepen up. So that's the Julie G and just look how close 
oops, how close these two are. Not necessarily in the bottle. The damson is a, a bit paler and brighter, but on the swatch wheel, it's still not exact to the eye, but very close, like dupe close. So there we go, that's the second coat. Also here are the swatches for heavy metal and retrograde, beautiful, beautiful um, purpley grey and a taupey grey. Okay, before I go and start eating these lovely chocolates and Werther's Original, um, I wanted to just show you on this hand, so on this hand here, which has been smudged beyond belief, um, so I'm going to be removing this, but it is actually the Essence Outer Space Stories, this gorgeous duochrome blue, and this is called Intergalactic Adventure. So that's on this hand here. On this hand is um, some stamping with the Neon and On collection from Pretty Perfect Polish. And on these two fingers here is... Hello Cyborg Mom, if you're watching, hi, I haven't forgotten, I know you asked me a while ago about this particular polish, Urban, from Revlon, and you said you were looking for a navy blue and you wondered if it's stained. So I'm trying this, I'm trying this out, I'm trying this out for you. So this is one coat, you probably would need two, but you could get away with one to be honest. Um, and I'm going to remove it now, so let's see if it does stain. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to have stained me really that much, considering I didn't put a base coat down. So I would say, yeah, this is pretty safe as not much of a stainer for a dark blue. Just make sure you put a base coat down. And once again, thank you so much, Jules. This is incredible. I can't believe I've actually got this here. I, I, I'm astounded. <laughs> I, I'm still in shock, even though I knew what it was you were sending me. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and enjoy these chocolates and film some more videos. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.